We are making real progress here in Urban Upgrade in installing a digital living room in this condo. Our 42 inch plasma TV, working great, our home theater in a box, all configured. Now the next big decision that the homeowner has to make is they have to choose where their over the air HD is gonna come from. They have to choose between satellite and cable service for their high definition television coming into their system. Now we're gonna make that decision next week when we talk to Frankie down at London Drugs. Now what the homeowners have decided is their gaming system and they've chosen the PlayStation 3. Now all of the modern gaming systems are really wonderful. They give us high definition video output and they give us surround sound audio. But here's where we face a little bit of a challenge based on the limitations of the home theater in a box that we chose because it only has two optional inputs for audio for us to add additional audio sources. One of them is optical, which is high quality. That's the one that we really want to use. And the other one is analog, not quite as good a quality. Now, normally I'd want to plug the gaming system into the optical audio input, but I want to reserve that for my television, for my over the air HD. So I'm going to have to use the analog input. Now, personally, I don't notice the difference. Real audio files do, but real audio files wouldn't have chosen our Blu-ray home theater in a box. Instead, they would have chosen to go component and they would have added more pieces at a higher quality themselves. But so for us, we have a little bit of a limitation, but it's certainly one that we can work our way through. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna install the PlayStation and we're gonna connect it to the TV using an HDMI cable. Now we've talked a little bit about HDMI, it's uncompressed audio and video, it's the highest quality that we can get into the TV. Now when you go to purchase your system, they're gonna give you some information about HDMI cables, telling you one is better than the other and why you should spend more. I'm not an expert on the topic, but Frank, he is, and he explained to us why we chose the monster cables. Frankie, when you spec'd up my system, there was one thing that you're very specific on. Monster cables and monster cables only. But they're more expensive. I know they are, Steve. The reason why I did is because of its reliability, quality, and also the cable can be the weakest link in the whole system. So we've got a really quality front end with our DVD player, Blu-ray DVD Sorry. player, 1080p TV. We want to make sure that the quality transfers right through. Now there's a whole bunch of different model numbers from 1000 EX all the way down to 300. So that makes a difference too? It does uh, because the 850 and 1000 supports deep color, mm -hmm. which your TV has. And my Blu-ray player is giving out, so that's, that's going right. to give me my maximum quality on screen. That's right. Now what about things like my cable box? It's only putting out 720p. Do I need to get the high quality cables? You don't need to go with those ones. You can go with the 300 or 400 for that. Okay, so the bottom line is your cables can be the weak point in your system. Don't let them be.